They are not there. <laughs> that is Muhammad. The Prophet, he imagined himself having sexual intercourse with his wife, but the fact he did not. So he was having sex with who? I hope not with something not halal. Even the Muslim, they say that the Prophet, he was bewitched. The Prophet was bewitched. What does that mean? You Muslims, you are following bewitched Prophet? A Prophet, but yet he is bewitched? So who is going to heal the Prophet who is bewitched? He will go to Jesus? If we say to Muslims you are following a bewitched prophet they will feel insulted but they have no problem to have such a thing in their books as you see in Sahih al-Bukhari there's a guy in the Arabic in Arabic he's saying to me you are going to go to Jahannam even Jahannam he stole from the Jew Do you know what Jahannam where Muhammad he got the word Jahannam from the word Jahannam you are using for me proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. What Jahannam? You Muslim believe that hell is Jahannam? But Jahannam is a valley in Jerusalem. How the valley where people they throw garbage became a, became hell for Muslims? I will tell you how. He stole that from the gospel. He stole that from the gospel otherwise I you know the Muslim they say to us that the Quran is Arabic the first language Allah he spoke to Adam was Arabic so how he's using the word Jahannam the value of Hanum <laughs> but I'm so happy to introduce to you the bewitched prophet the bewitched prophet, he earned his bewitching after very hard work. He went to school. He suffered a lot. And because he was bewitched, it says here with us. Oh, we have many Muslims calling. Hello? Go to Matthew 13, 31. Just go. What a kid. Hello? Yes, hello. Why you are changing your voice? I'm not changing my voice. It's my voice. Really? Okay. I don't know. It sounds like you are changing your voice. Go ahead. No, no. I'm I'm a Christian. All right. Go ahead. I wanted to ask you why do you defend Catholicism. Why I defend Catholicism? And you are a Christian? Yes. Okay. Let me ask you. Yes. What do you think about Muhammad? No, I asked you a question. First. I know, I know. You asked me. I'm asking you too. I will answer you. Why? What do you think about Muhammad? Is Muhammad a prophet or false prophet? False prophet. False prophet. So you you believe that Muhammad is a scumbag, or you believe he is a good man? Uh, he was an evil man. He was what? Evil man. He was an evil man. Okay, I will answer you about the Catholic. No problem. This is not our topic, but no problem. We can answer. You know, when somebody says that the Catholic, they pray for me, I'm not a Catholic. The Catholic, they ask Mary to pray for them. So this is number one lie. When they say that the Catholic, they ask the dead to pray for them, that's num number two lie. Because the Bible confirmed that there is many saints, they were resurrected. So when the Catholic, they say, or uh, Mary, pray for us, they are quoting from the Bible what the angels, they say to Mary when they arrive to her. Oh, hail Mary. This is not this is a biblical prayer. This is not Catholic. Prayer. Don't call me now. Don't call me. Let me answer, please. I will call you back. The Muslim guy who's trying to call. So I don't like lies. 
I don't believe the Catholic are doing the right thing in many way as an example pictures or statues but I don't like people to lie about them so I defend the truth I don't take a side the Catholic are Christians for a very simple reason whoever believe in the Father the Son the Holy Spirit the Messiah the crucifixion the resurrection whoever believe that there's no salvation but by the Messiah whoever believe that he is coming back and he is the only savior for us whoever believe that the messiah he sent his disciples to teach us to preach to us he believe in mark and luke he believe in john he believe in the four gospels he is my brother in christ when somebody claim that certain group are not christians you have to give us a proof Whoever deny me, I deny him. The Catholic, they don't. Who is the Antichrist? Is the one who deny the Father and the Son. The Catholic, they don't. So don't lie about them. The, the Rosary, they are not praying to Mary, my friend. Be honest. The Rosary, they asking, they say, Oh, hail Mary, pray for us. Don't be a liar. Don't be a liar. Pray for us. Pray for us. Don't be a liar. I say to you, pray for me. Does that mean you are worshiping me or pray for me to God? Don't be silly and don't be stupid. Just try to be honest. And the Muslims, they love, they love to divide your Christians. Let us see, we have a Muslim. Hello? Whereby Allah you will be killed. If, 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 if. by Allah <laughs> you made me fart my friend uh, uh, to be killed is the last one to make me worry my friend the, my worry is to stay alive and I am a donkey who care about being dead if I die I will be with my Lord anyway let me show you what some Christians they do when they are dividing each other and that is involved some priest who they are working for Allah look what Allah he says about people who they are like you who divide the Christians Allah spoke about you the devil himself he have a plan for you you are working for him when you do that Read carefully. This is Allah plan for the Christians, and whoever work in that plan direction, he is working for the devil. From those who call themselves Christians, we did take a covenant, and they forgot a good part of it. Don't call me again. I have no time for kids. There's one thing here: Christian friends don't allowed is division. The vision is from the devil. It's not from Jesus. The Bible says there's no Greek, there's no Hebrew, there's no free, there's no slave. For all is one by Jesus. So as the Christians, we are one church. I don't believe in churches. I believe in one church, which is us. It's not something called Catholic, it's not something called Protestant, it's not something called Orthodox. Whoever believe in me and I will live. Don't make the devil, Allah, divide you. Look at his plan. So, but we forgot, they, they forgot a good part of the message that we sent to them. So we string them with enmity and hatred between one to each other. One, he said, I don't hate the Catholic. No, you do. You do when you say the Catholic are not Christians because this is based on hate, not based on facts. Who are you to decide who is a Christian who is not? If the person he believe in the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. If somebody believe he pray to Mary, that will not make him pray. Ask him Mary to pray for him. Oh, Mary, pray for us. That will not make him a Christian. That's me. All of us not Christians. Pray for me. Pray for me. And I can show you tons of verses in the Bible. There's many Christians, they are copy-paste, like the Muslims. Foolishness. 
is a disease not everyone says to me Lord Lord will enter the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will not the one who say Catholic not the one who say Protestant not the one who say Orthodox but the one who do his will God is not a fool Some of those who claim to be Christians, they act like the Shia and the Sunni. You will go to hell, we will go to heaven. Whoever of you say that is a stupid. Because heaven and hell is not in your hand. It's in the hand of God. From their fruits, you shall know them. Not from their names. So I don't stand to defend the Catholic. I stand to defend the truth. I will not allow the Catholic to say the same about the Protestant because that will be stupid of him to say so. And there's many that do the same, they so the same. So stupidity is exists in both parties. Christianity have nothing to do with this. We follow Jesus, we don't follow a priest. The priest is dividing you. Jesus, he unite us. And I am a follower of Jesus. I am the Alpha, I am the Omega, the rest are dead. Jesus said that the dead bury the dead. There was a funeral, right? And people, they are going in a funeral. Let the dead bury the dead. You are following the dead. You forgot about who is Jesus. You are busy about who is going to go to heaven, who is going to go to hell, but you yourself are not saved. I say to you, before Abraham I am. There's many that are busy with Abraham. Abraham said, Sarah she said, Elijah he said, Moses he said, oh, hold on, before Abraham I am. What about Jesus said? All those names came just to make us know Jesus. Which means, they are just people who try their best to help us to reach out. This is the same guy, I think. Yes. Hello. Yes. Uh, yes. Can you hear me? I do. Uh, I I got a question. You said that uh, you don't agree with the Catholics uh, having pictures and mm. of Mary, and mm. um, you think this is wrong. Why do you think that? Because the Bible says, don't make any images for what up in heaven and what down in earth, especially when it's come to religious meaning. And as but long if you, are, it, but as, if you have a picture of your son on your desk or something, my or, friend, or something, my friend, it is it is not like it, okay. it's not like you're worshiping this picture. No it's problem, like no problem. But, still, but it still does not mean no. You see, first of all, you don't even have the picture of the person. You are making an imaginary picture, correct? Yeah, but it's the but same. So what the point? I mean, why you need a picture? You know why I need a picture of anyone? I mean, I do not need. I accept that. I have no problem if it's an art. I have no problem if you have a picture of Mary or Jesus. If it's just for art, it's okay, no problem. But it, to pray in the front of it, that is wrong because this is first of all, this is not Jesus and this is not Mary. Same time, no, we do not. Is, same time, we do not need it. This is that biblical? Is that something coming from the, coming from the Bible? No. No, but it's it's without praying towards it. It's like having my friend, my friend. A, it doesn't matter. It's like why as you a respect, have it, my as friend. a reminder that Jesus is everywhere. And you, Jesus you do not is, need a, in, Jesus say to bless those who believe and did not see. Bless those who believe and did not see. So we are the one who we believe we did not see. We did not see Jesus, yet we believe. So we got the blessing. Yeah, know, we, we got the blessing. So we do not need a picture. Picture will not make us believers. Pictures is something you know tradition made by some people, and now you follow blindly. But it's not right. Have nothing to do with the teaching of Christ. Where did Jesus no, said make a big. Did Jesus say is made a picture of me? No, but okay, so it's not following. But if, it's not following blindly. If it helps you, and if, if it if, helped if, him in what? It helped me in what? Here we go. I don't. I don't believe in pictures, and I. I. I, I mean. Uh, 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 I mean, how I can be more close to Jesus than doing what I am doing, bringing people to him every day. But I don't have pictures of him. I don't want to see pictures of him because that's not important. Jesus can be black, can be white, can be Asian. He came to us as a man, but this is not how he is. God is not a man. God came to us as a man. It's not God. It's not a man who became a God. It's God who became man. So you are focusing an image of a man, but you forgot God. So let us focus on God that his name is Jesus the Christ not in the picture. We do not need pictures my friend This is have nothing to do 
I, I, I none of the disciples, my yeah. friend, my friend, none of the disciples, they made pictures. Paul did not do, Peter did not do, Simon, you know, uh, all, all uh, they did not do pictures. So why you want to do pictures? I mean, I, like what I'm trying to okay, say my is, friend, my it's, I'm like, it's I, not. I don't want to change my topic, but this is your opinion. I, For me, I advise you. I love you as a person. I love you in Christ, and I believe you are a good person, and you are my brother in Christ. But I believe this is wrong. All right? We do not need pictures to know Jesus for a very simple reason. First of all, it's not his picture. I have no problem if we have all the pictures of all those names, great names. Would be wonderful, actually. No problem. At least it's it's real. By the way, the Muslim they say that the one who have a statues are pagans. But you know what? The Quran says that Allah He ordered one of His prophets to have statues, and He designate the genies to build for Him statues. Statues. You believe it? In chapter twenty-one, verse number fifty-two, supposedly Ibrahim is fighting his father about the statues, but the same God in chapter thirty-four, verse number thirteen. It says that Allah He gave opportunity to His Prophet Suleiman to build statues. Anyone who don't use, a, you know, like I, I can't tell fake accounts, trying to disturb what we do. So Allah He gave Suleiman. Genies, you see here, they did not mention the word status, but the fact it is say status. Let me change the translation. You will see how the translation change. Muslims, they have no dignity when they translate. Do you see it? We just change the translator. They made for him what he willed, synagogues and statues. Hello? Anyone will take me out of topic? By the way, I will block you. Our our program here is about Islam and Islam only. The Satan always is very successful to divide you. And I will not allow people to do, do division for his people. It doesn't matter who you are. I will take you. I will kick you. And I will let the crowd step on your lies. Catholic. Protestant Orthodox they believe in one God that is the Messiah and he is the one who unite us and the one who divide us at the devil So if you are a follower of the devil of the vision Get lost with your devil You are not welcome As simple as that are we clear I am a Christian Prince. I'm a warrior of the Lord Jesus the Christ Not a warrior of a church name For we are his church we, the people who believe in him. Hello. My friend, you worship three gods. The three gods. You are being stupid, my friend. Let me call you back. Hold on. I don't know what happened. Mm. I like the idea. Answer, answer. Coward, he will not answer. Big fat lie, the Muslim they say that we believe in three gods because even your Quran, your stupid, says that we believe that in one God. So who of you is the donkey, your God or you? If your Quran says the Christian believe that Jesus the Christ is God himself, not second God. Petitos. And do you see why Muslims leave Islam left and right when they call me? Because you speak foolishness, stupidity. And I get you busted left and right. You Muslims are copy paste nation. Chapter 5, verse number 72. Your God is getting you busted. 
they surely disbelieve who say that Allah is the Messiah, not the second God. This is your cult, and this is the yellow pages of Allah. Are you going to blame me for the yellow pages of Allah? If you're Allah witness that the Christian believe that God and the Messiah is one, why you lie and you say we believe in three? Who is a Muslim? He have an intelligence in his mind to share with us. Guys, did we have a good time today? Did we have a good time? We did, right? We have a very smart person who is a Muslim. Actually, you know what? When you speak to a smart person, you might think that this is the hardest to make him leave Islam. It's the opposite. If you go and play back, when this gentleman, he called me, you will notice that this man, this man is educated, he's smart, right? But because he's smart, and he was honest with himself. He decided to leave the cult of Islam. Debating with the smart one is the easiest. Speaking to the foolish one is useless. It's a waste of time. Like you show the guy, he's a prophet saying, whoever comes first, the baby will be a boy. He says, prove that wrong. <laughs> prove that wrong. I mean, madness, stupidity. As they say in China, he left as a he left as a donkey. He never came back as a horse. I cannot make you a horse. I cannot make you a horse. My friend, don't text me. Don't text me in Skype. I have no time for this. I don't allow division. Yes, this is division. Christians, they are divided over silly stuff. In certain time, even they have a war because of those things. The devil was successful to divide you. Follow God. Remember God. God is not images. God is not pictures. God is not a stone. Be Christian. There's many they focus in the most silly stuff. Buying pictures and etc. But they don't want to bring anyone to Christ. Okay, when the last time you brought someone to Christ? They are willing to fight each other, even to go to war, which is totally against the teaching of Jesus. Absolutely. When the Lord, he said to you, love your enemy, you were busy fighting each other to the point you shed the blood. How disgusting. How disgusting and how shameful. Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening, CP. Yes, my friend. Um, um, I'm a Christian. I just want you to. I don't know when you're gonna have a time to do a broadcast. What Allah has to offer, and what Jesus has to offer to us. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether next time maybe you can do a comparison. Mm -hmm. What Allah has to offer, mm -hmm. and what Jesus has to offer, because. Uh, when we look at it, Jesus promised us many things that he has to offer that made him to be equal to, to be God, to be God himself. Hmm. Like he said, that if anyone if anyone die, he will raise him up to himself. Hmm. So I don't know what, what maybe one day you should do a show like uh, what Allah has to offer and what uh, uh, Jesus has to offer to see. And also uh, the, the second question that the, the importance of the Adivt and the, and the Quran, because 
but now we are talking to the muslim something like this oh the hadith is not good no no so the important of it the hadith and the quran i don't know what you think about this all right my friend i will try my best to answer you anything else thank you oh yes that's it thank you thank you very much all right well, you know, I always try to make things simple because there's people who listen to us and they are not highly educated in the topic we speak of. So the best way always, you know, the best example for me, if I want to teach somebody, is to do what Jesus said. You see, Jesus always, he spoke to people by using parables because simply, you know, we human, we are limited and we understand images better. And you will notice that both in Christianity and both in Islam, there is images. The difference is that Jesus, he used images to explain himself for us on earth. But he don't use images to explain heaven in heaven. The reason for that that the happiness of heaven is beyond the imagination but it has nothing to do with objects but the heaven of islam is all about objects so images is a must when they ask jesus about a woman who her husband die and then she married the second one and her husband die and he married the second the third one she will be for who that is the understanding of the jews Jesus said, he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. Same as angels mean we will be free from objects. An object mean our needs. We will have needs. What is the needs? Food, money, you know, even glory. We, you know, we glorify ourselves. We are proud about ourselves. We need to have more and more of everything. We, we are the slaves of object. Sex, money, jewelries, power, you name it. In the heaven of Jesus, you will be free. Only free. In the heaven of Islam, you will be slave and only slave. Then we will find Muhammad speaking about that his heaven is like a, a warehouse. Of furniture all those verses is speaking about this heaven of furnitures imagine the God of Islam he even promised you that in his heaven you are going to have couches and chairs. How stupid that is. I'm talking about God, not about furniture store. Reclining upon their clothes. They will have every kind of a fruit in pairs. I'm so happy it's in pairs, not a single. I mean, you will have from every fruit two pairs. What does that mean? You will have of two fountains flowing. Two fountains? I mean, one is not enough. Two fountains. Are you happy? You will be in a garden. And you will be having boys. And those boys will be going around you. You will be in a couch and you will be reclining in the couch. I mean, how amazing. Suddenly I have a couch. I am an Arab, savage Arab, a Bedouin who never have a couch. So finally I got a couch. How that can be from God. God uh, promised me a couch. This is this is a salvation. The salvation of God is involving couches and bracelet and silk clothing.
What is that about? How this is can be from God? And then here in verse number 56, by the way, this is a false translation. It says that women, they will be there who nobody play inside their vagina. You see the Muslim here, they translate, but it's a false translation. Allah describe what is inside the vagina. This is salvation. God, he need to describe for me that the vagina of this woman, nobody, I don't want to be rude, you know. You know what I'm talking about. Chapter 55, verse number 56. If we go here to the Tafsir, Show me where Trinity Trinity is mentioned in the Bible just once. Okay, are you willing to stay or you will hang up? Yes, I'm willing to stay. Okay, if I show you the Trinity, are you willing to say Islam is false or just to challenge me for no reason? I'm willing to say Islam is false. All right, open Genesis chapter number one, verse number one. Where does it say that? Me, yeah, open it, read it for me. You said, show me, right? Okay, I'm show you. It's from the first line in the Bible. I don't see it. Read it for me. Go, go ahead. Are you there? Yeah, yeah. Okay, read it for me. In, Genesis in chapter the beginning, one. Yeah. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void. The darkness was on the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was hovering over the face okay, of the waters. Let's say God and the Spirit. Does it say God and the Spirit? Does it say that in that verse? There's a God and there's a Spirit. Where does it say that they are one? Here we go. God is spirit. Is God is spirit? You're asking me to show you the Trinity, right? You asked me to show you the Trinity, correct? Yes. Okay. Does it say there that there's God and there is a spirit, and this is the spirit of God? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. So now what we have left? What is the Trinity in Christianity? Do you know? What is the Trinity in Christianity? Do you know? What happened to this guy? <laughs> okay. Obviously, you are asking question for the wrong person. If you go to in the Old Testament in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter six, verse number one, it says, Your God is one. Here, O Israel, Yahweh is our God, Yahweh is a heart. One here is one not by number, one by unity. So God the Spirit, God the Father, and God the Man is three mentioned in the Old Testament. God he came to Abraham. As a man, God, he came to Abraham as a man. Actually, Muhammad himself, by the way, he copied that story and he put it in his Quran. Why you hang up? Very embarrassing. Very, very embarrassing.
they are copy paste they keep repeating where 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 the trinity where where you brought the trinity from where you got the trinity from actually the trinity is confirmed in the quran but sadly you know he hang up are we having a good time guys so we going back to the heaven of of allah you will find that the heaven of allah is one of the most weirdest funny stupid heaven couches green silk jewelries the floor the floor the floor in the heaven is made from musk and zafaran 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 is food what i will do with that dirt the dirt zafaran i will lick it and all of this we have it here I mean what and look guys you will see here you will notice something here in this in, in this Quran look how many times this this empty God he kept repeating which in the favor of your Lord that you will deny which in the favor of your Lord will deny which in the favor of your Lord will deny which in the favor of your Lord will deny which in the favor of your Lord will deny which in the favor of your Lord will deny come back come back tomorrow which in the favor of your Lord will deny? Which in the favor of your Lord will deny? What is that? What is that? This is God? Is that God or this is the what is what his name? This is the rap guy? Snoopy Dog? This is Snoopy Dog. This is not God. This is Snoopy Dog. Make a Quran. Why are you repeating the same thing all over? I mean, it's, we're going to spend the whole day reading this. It's all over. How many times I need to say the same, the same thing, Mr. Yeah. Snobby Dog Allah? Huh? How many times? Look, 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 look. Unbelievable. You deny. You deny. You deny. You deny. What is that? Actually, you did beat Snoopy Dog. Snoopy Dog, he did not repeat it that much. This is God. If this is God, then who is who is a stupid? God, he don't repeat his words saying stupid things over and over. Just say one time, which of the favor of your God you deny? That's it. It's over. We got it. But the one who made this, he have nothing to say. He's trying to fill it up. And not only that, do you know that in the heaven of Islam, Allah promised the Muslims to heaven? You tell me what to heaven? Any Muslim can tell us how I will get to heaven, how I'm going to live in two heavens. Two heavens? Hey, my husband, where are you? I am in heaven number two. Fantastic. Heaven number two. Actually, Muhammad, he says that there is two heaven. One of them is made from gold and one of them is made from silver. Which is very disgusting. Imagine you live in a place made from gold. So in hadith it says that there is a heaven made from, from papers. Read with me here carefully. Sahih Muslim. This is the heaven of Allah. This is the heaven of Allah. In the heaven, they will be drinking honey, very sweet honey. And there is two extremists 
their souls in paradise the one is from gold and the other from silver I'm really really convinced that this is from God and by the way you know guys there, there is there's is a guy he said to me uh, <clears throat> where is the heaven of Eden right he said where is the heaven of Eden and if we go like you can go to Genesis read uh, uh, Genesis 2 chapter uh, uh, chapter 2 and read it from like verse 9 10 uh, 13 14 it's speaking there about the river is called Euphrates this is supposedly where the garden of Eden was look what Muhammad said Muhammad as a copier Let us see. Here we go. There's four rivers. There's so there's four rivers in the paradise of Allah. The Muslim they say to us that the paradise of Allah is not in this earth because the whole earth would be destroyed. The whole earth will be destroyed. So how Muhammad he says that he was raised to loot a tree. This is the tree of Allah. And I saw four river, two of which were coming out and two is going in. Those which were coming out were the Nile and the Euphrates. The Nile and the Euphrates are up in the 7-11 heaven in the space. The heaven, the, the garden of Eve and Adam in the, in the in Christianity, it was on earth. The garden of Adam and Eve in Islam, it was in heaven, never was on earth. That's why the Quran says to them, sit, you know, go down, go down, because they were up. Here Muhammad is claiming that the Nile River and the Euphrates are the heavens in the, in, in the heaven of Allah. That is how stupid this cult is. If you like to learn more about Islam, feel free. You can get my books. They are full of reference. A library of reference, actually. My books is not like a story. It's points, one, two, three, and reference. As simple as that. Very handy, very easy to understand. I hope today we cover a lot of issues and we are happy as always to have some Muslims leaving Islam and accepting Christ. I want to say guys, thank you for being here. I'm thinking tomorrow maybe I will not do broadcast, but not sure. But you see, the problem is every day I say I will not do. This is what I did today. I said I will not do broadcast, but in my heart I felt that there is somebody who wanted me to go and I was right. There was a Muslim waiting for me to go and he accepted the messiah as lord so if i did not come online today we will not be able to save him so i'm so glad that i did take the decision to come online i will try tomorrow but i'm not sure because i have a book i need to finish to be published before the christmas and doing live broadcasts for many many hours making me really i don't want to look at the computers after i finish so we will see subscribe you will be notified and don't forget by the way we have we have other uh, uh, like uh, uh, links uh, like minds that come nobody is subscribing there because we need always a backup the enemy will not stop and he will do his best to stop us from exposing Islam. now so please don't forget you can subscribe to my account in minds that come as you see in the screen minds that come slash Christian Prince this is a backup account we have Facebook we have a Twitter but this is this is you know let's say let us make it a main one so in the future if my YouTube my account terminated for some reason you never know 
you always you will be able to find me and you will know where you can locate me all right so put that in your consideration and I have my account in uh, uh, in Instagram just search for Arabian prophet and we have a Twitter all right I mean subscribe to all you will lose nothing so always you will have a backup but mines mines.com is maybe the best one because it's more stable all right so I want to say thank you for being here may the Lord bless you and enter we see you soon again remember one thing that God is good and the good God will never ever leave us alone we are not left alone and we are victorious not because of a Christian prince is not because a Christian prince nobody can defeat him it's because nobody can defeat Jesus it's because we are following the good God for he is the only true God exist anything else is a lie and remember to be united with him unite with your brother in Christ let us be one by him there's nothing will divide us don't believe that there's somebody can divide you otherwise you are not you are not belonging to him don't let a priest divide you don't let a priest or a bishop or anyone to make you not a believer and to hate your brother in Christ Christ is our Lord not a priest the man who divide he don't serve the Lord ask yourself before you go do you think the Lord will be happy to see Christians divided the answer is very simple no this is not for the Lord and this is not what he want be one as our Lord is one be good as your your Lord is good be faithful to your family to your wife be good to your parents be good even to the Muslims for our God is good God of love and mercy thank you very much for being here May the Lord bless you all. Thank you.